For a profitable Google Ads campaign, you don't only need to have a Google Ads campaign that has been set up and is being optimized correctly, but you also need to be sending your users to a landing page that will actually convert. So many times I see people blame Google Ads as the reason for why they didn't see success with their Google Ads campaigns. When in fact, the reason for why they did not see success with their Google Ads campaign is because they were sending the user to a landing page, which in all honesty, just sucked and it did not convert. In this video, I'm gonna give you free access to a section of a training which I held in my 10X Google Ads community. And this session was called UX Principles for High Converting Landing Pages. And it covered the core principles that you need to include on your landing page if you wanna increase the conversion rate that your landing page is seeing. And the exciting thing about this session is that all of these principles were based on data. And that is because this session was run by Richard Fusel, who's the director and founder of TestMate Australia, which is Australia's largest user testing agency. And the data that was shared was compiled from over 10,600 different user tests on landing pages. And if you enjoy this sneak peek of this highly valuable training, you can actually go through and follow the link in the description below. And after you've done that, you'll be able to see the full 30 minute training session, which was called UX principles for high converting landing pages. So right now, let's get into this teaching. I know you guys are doing a lot of uh, Google ads and you know, there's landing page. So e-commerce is a really interesting one because it's a little bit different um, as well. So what are some of the, the key things we've learned from e-commerce. Um, first one is price transparency is really important. Um, it helps build trust. And so what I mean by that is like, you know, a product has a price, you know, don't be hiding the delivery costs, for example. So, you know, you don't want, the user doesn't want to add a, add, a, add something to the cart thinking one thing, and then they get to the final checkout and there's a few other costs in there and they're like, oh, I didn't know about that. So price transparency, um, is really important um so try to be upfront about that um and giving them that you know return policy and delivery as well so users are always you know wanting to know well what happens if i don't like this product can i get it back or what is the return policy? so be upfront about it um because if you're not people feel like maybe you're trying to hide something so even if you don't have the most favorable return policy you're still better off being very upfront about it and clear people want to see these things um the other thing that people are really interested in these days is ethically ethically sourced and sustainable products. So if you can, um, you know, what they don't want to know is that, you know, child slave labor is being used to produce this product, you know, so you want to really promote the fact if it is ethically sourced, hopefully it is, um, and sustainable, then those are the things that users care about. And they're good supplementary messages to have um, on any e-commerce site that you have so look there's many like all of this is there are many many other things but these are some of the sort of the core principles that we see coming through um that are really important um and so yeah lastly i just wanted to go through this is sort of a bit of a checklist for you guys so like you know you're doing a landing page you know do your own sanity checklist and there's the five ones that i went through and there's two others that i just want to talk about so this is like your checklist of going you know are the best practice principles in place and are, what else is there to potentially explain why something's not working? So uh, just to recap again, we're saying beautiful design, um, you know, clean and modern, you know, hopefully that's making it, that's a little bit clearer now what beautiful design is. Intuitive design, can people find what they're looking for? Am I answering questions in the right places? Um, speed, is it is it uh, fast to find, um, fast to go through? Uh, not unnecessarily slow is probably the biggest point. Um, you know, am I providing trust and credibility to the page? Is there a reason for people to believe believe me? They'll believe what you're putting out there. Um, is the value proposition clear? Do users understand why you are different to the competitors? You know, has that been really clearly spelled out? Now, the last two points are if you're still not converting well, you know, and just, you know, benchmark numbers might be, we often see e-commerce as sort of two to 3% as a good conversion rate or a solid conversion rate. A service-based product, we might be seeing it sort of five or 6%. 
Um, now, if you dramatically lower than that, and there's a whole range of reasons why conversion rates fluctuate, but if it is quite low, a couple of other questions to really start to ask is, is, is the product demand there? Or is, is the demand there for that product or service? Because sometimes it's a case of needing, you know, it might be that the website's got all the fundamentals there, but it just fundamentally isn't the, um, the demand for the product. Um, so asking some of those questions um, is important. And also price, are you um, price competitive? Um, so making sure you're mindful of that. But they're just two sort of other sort of supplementary points. If, if you sort of go through all this and you go, oh God, I still, I still can't get a con good conversion rate. But what we see is fundamentally sites that have these foundational things in place um, are getting exceptionally good conversion rates um, and really good ROI on their, on their Google ads or their paid media. Um, now remember if you want to see the full 30 minutes of that teaching session all you need to do is to follow that link in the description so you can go through and watch that full session right now once again thank you for joining me my name is aaron young from define digital academy and i'm your 15,000 hour google ads master and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification button so that you know every single time that i release a new google ads training video thank you again see you next time